Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're doing a review of Uprising, Curse of the Last Emperor. Now this is a phenomenal um, theme fantasy type game with area control, um, co cooperative, uh, you do quests, you roll dice, you pretty much upgrade your characters through items. Um, also, you're able to do many different actions. You get eight actions per, pretty much per player um, until you finish the, the chapter track. But just a phenomenal game. Um, we're just going to jump right into the review. So for the rules, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Just because simply there's 58 pages in the rule book. Uh, it's quite big. I mean, it does go very in depth. It also has a table of content and index. So that's really nice. Um, there's a chapter track where you can track and that's pretty much all you have to use to play the game. That, and then there's also a combat sequence, which you can see right here. The bottom one is the most important and then terrain effect. And then there's a placing activation that also has page numbers, which you'll have to reference. There's a dice distribution, and then most overlooked rules. And then in the player boards, there's uh, more information. The permission tells what you're gonna be doing throughout your uh, actions, that you get eight actions with. So rules, four out of five, um, just, which the, pretty much just said that follow the chapter track and then just use a lot of the over um, player aids. There's also uh, terrain and skeleton garrison information on the board. And then everything pretty much has information like tiles um, and pretty much entails what, what you need to do next. Um, also the druid cards. So four out of five, uh, component quality, five out of five, phenomenal uh, standees. I like the standees better than the um, standard standees that you get during uh, Kickstarters because they're uh, gray. They don't have any color um, unless you paint. Then you're not gonna really. They're not gonna pop. So the plastic ones actually appeal to us better because we don't paint. Uh, also, like the the pretty much garrisons that you get. So you build these up. Uh, these are the enemies. Emperor, um, so that's a level three. And then you also get yours, where you could build the, this is the tower and the wall. The towers look at the top, the wall is just uh, separate that you pretty much place once you build it. Uh, also like the big wooden trackers for victory points. Um, there's also the gyms, they're pretty much standard quality in most board, board games nowadays. Um, also the dice are really nice, very detailed. Um, there's different types of uh, pretty much icons, everything. So overall component quality, uh, also the board's nice and thick. Uh, the cards are great quality. So overall components, five out of five. So experience, um, I would give it like a 3.5 out of five, just because simply it was just a lot to uh, dive in to figure out. Um, you have to look at, you pretty much have to watch the right um, how to plays, uh, unless you go to go through the whole book, which is like 58 pages. Um, that'll take you a while to read through. And then so if you watch uh, One Stop Co-op Shop or um, John Gets Games, um, those are great. I would say the One Stop Co-op Shop, I think it's better because it, sh it shows the setup and I like the flow of how he introduced the game better. So that would be the one I would suggest. Um, so the experience is just, um, it's great. It's just that we had a lot, a long time before we actually uh, got to play it because of the setup. Uh, takes your first time probably like 40 minutes, 45. Um, 
And then also the learning process, it's probably going to take you an hour or two to just figure out how the game plays and everything. And then the actual playthrough, it's over an hour. So your first game, um, I would prepare for like a couple hours uh, with the set, uh, learning and playthrough. I would estimate probably two, three hours or more. Uh, so experience 3.5, just for that simple aspect. And so just... I'll get more into depth on the replayability um, on some of the sh issues I wanted to give. Uh, so mechanics, mechanics, I would give five out of five. Great mechanics. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Champions of Hara, where you're just uh, flipping tiles, uh, you're upgrading your characters, and each character is asymmetric, so they do different things in their um, you know, strength on different uh, aspects. And so, uh, but it's very familiar to that. Um, this one plays longer and it's harder to learn. So the way you play the game is you pretty much just uh, move in between tiles. Um, each tile pretty much uh, tells you what, what's going to occur. And so either the Chaos Horde or the Imperial Legion uh, gets implemented into the game. Uh, you get points by attacking them. They attack uh, or move to your areas or different areas. Um, there are also, if you don't defeat them, then they gave victory points after the chapter track. Um, and the way you go through the chapter track, you go through refresh phase, event phase, build phase, action phase, nemesis phase, that's where they, uh, you pretty much are going to be implementing some of the chaos hordes in the imperial um, production phase and then scorn phase. And so why you don't kill the, the legion and the horde will pretty much get points. The way you win the, way you win the game is if you're both you and your other factions have more points than the Chaos or the Legion. If one doesn't have it, then you lose. If, if both have it, then you win. So uh, great in that aspect. So five out of five mechanics. Uh, replayability, I would give a three out of five simply because the setup time is just uh, really long. Um, like I said, 35, 40 minutes. That's even after you know how to set it up. It's just going to take a long time to set up, tear down, and so, and then put everything back in the boxes. Remember where do they go? Um, I'm guessing maybe uh, tear down might even take longer because you're uh, you're putting everything. You're trying to find where everything goes, and you know, trying to get everything in the box just right. So, pretty much, that's why replayability is. Three out of five. Plus, um, downtime um, is a little bit slow. I would say you, you and your uh, other, you know, faction, or you know, if you're playing with someone else, um, they're going to be playing the the faction. It's two three minutes between downtime or longer um, determined because there's so many things you could do in the game, and you're trying to figure out what to best do. So it's got quite a bit of, uh, long downtime. So, and then sometimes it takes five minutes because to make a decision, you might get a little bit of analysis paralysis in this game. So, five out, or three out of five in the replayability. Uh, overall total, I would give it like a four out of five. Um, it's a good game. Uh, it's just hard to table because it's just so much uh, that you guys set up. It's, it's the mechanics, once you know it, it's pretty easy. Um, also with the chapter track and you know we just did two chapters you could do four chapters and you could do money um, we didn't implement the harder quests or the harder chapters um, which make, gives a harder hordes and legions um, also you get um, better cards uh, so we removed some of those components uh, in our filming of the playthrough um, and I'm sorry about my I had a bad allergy so I was like sniffling the whole time um that's my fault um well technically it's not but i have bad allergies and so um still dealing with it because it's just uh you know allergy season and so 
this is pretty much how my life's going to be during the summer a little bit. But um, so three um, out of five or four out of five, um, eight out of ten. I can see this being a great game if you, you know, just have to plan it and table it and set up. Um, because there is a lot to this game and the components are phenomenal. The mechanics is really good. Um, so it's just, uh, I think, hard hard to retable um, once you tear it back down because it's you're going to have to vo devote quite a bit of time. So phenomenal game if you have the time or if you have uh, pretty much the right group. So 4 out of 5, uh, 8 out of 10. If you like this video, please subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. I'm going to have a link for a game. And I'll see you in the next video.